Good day everyone, I'm Johnny Veradina from BSIT 2 c and I'm here to show you how to disassemble and assemble a computer system unit step by step. First, prepare our workplace. We must have a clean and accessible workplace. Second, equip yourself with the right tools. A screwdriver and a container for our screws and small parts that will remove. Place an static mat and wear an anti-static wrist strap to prevent electrostatic discharge that can damage our components. Remove your watch or any other jewelry to prevent electrostatic discharge. Remember, our motherboards and other computer components are extremely fragile. Make sure to keep your workspace organized. Last, take a deep breath and read the manuals closely and you're good to go. Remove the side case screws. Open the side case cover by sliding it to the left. Some case has a touch fan on the side case cover. Disconnect it first before removing the side case cover. Before disconnecting the data and power cables, make sure to note it and remember its location and quantity. You can take a picture before disconnecting Disconnect it. the reset button connector. Disconnect the hard disk drive LED connector, power switch button connector. Disconnect the audio connectors. Disconnect also the USB female connector. Remove also the air cooling system connector for the CPU. Remove the 4 pin power connector. Disconnect the ATX to the 4 pin power connector. Disconnect the SATA cables for our hard disk drives and optical disk drive. Now it's time to remove our system unit components. Remove the RAM by opening the retention clips. Unlock the air cooling system of the CPU with the CPU heatsink, then remove it. Unscrew all the screws from the motherboard. Put the screws on the container, make sure to label it where it belong. Safely remove the motherboard, hold it by both sides. Remove the PSU screws and then slightly pull the PSU and then remove it. Unscrew all the screws for the hard disk drive, then remove it. Unscrew all the screws for the optical disk drive. Then remove it. Unscrew all the screws for the SD card reader. Then remove it. Remove the thumb screws of the right side case cover. Now it's time to remove our front panel cover. Remove the screws, then pull it. Remove the CPU located in the CPU socket. Just unlock the latch holding the processor and remove the processor. Make sure to handle the CPU with extra care by holding it both sides. Make sure to flip the CPU and place it correctly. And we're done in disassembling our computer system unit. So these are all the parts that we've pulled out. We have here the screws, SATA cables, CPU fan, SD card reader, Optical disk drive, hard disk drive, RAM, motherboard, power supply, and our computer case, front panel cover, and side case cover. And it's time to assemble our computer system unit. Insert the CPU on the CPU socket. You will see that there are guides on the sides of the processor and even small triangles printed and marked on a socket to help you place the processor properly. Then lock the latch. Then return back the CPU fan along with the CPU heatsink. Then connect the CPU fan connector to the CPU fan header. Then attach back the hard disk drive, optical disk drive, SD card reader, and the front panel case. Place back their screws. Make sure you use the right screws for each component. Put back the right side case cover and its screws.
attach the motherboard back. Place the screws back and make sure that is properly seated. Then attach the PCU back. Put back its screws. Connect back the front panel audio connector. And connect back the power switch button connector. Connect back the reset switch connector and HDD LED connector. Connect back the two USB female connector. Connect back the air cooling system for the CPU. Connect back the 4 pin power connector. Connect the SATA cables for our hard disk drives and optical disk drives. Connect back the ATX 24 pin power connector. And then connect back the SATA hard disk drive and optical disk drive power connector. Lastly, reconnect the exhaust fan from the side case cover and its screws. And that's how you disassemble and assemble a computer system. Thank you a lot for watching. Have a good day.